yeah, send in any questions. And now, Jane, uh, take it away. Thanks, Meng Shen. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Meng Shen. I'll take over and just give you a quick overview on some of the other programs that we offer. Um, complementary to the other summer language program that we have is the intensive language course. Um, this, is a, this is a language study program, pure language study, at one of the language institutions in Germany. It can be a Goethe Institute or it can be one of a couple, few others that, we, um, that have similar and, similar and quality type language programs. Um, you, do, it, you do have to have at least three semesters of German or the equivalent that in proficiency uh, prior to applying for this. So there isn't any support for beginner level language study. Um, it has to be at least an intermediate. You do need to be enrolled full time at the time that you apply by the by, on, on December fifteenth, and also you cannot be in a modern German language field. So that is that eliminates the students who are in German studies already and and want to go abroad for for more. So um, the typical student that applies is one like like the language, the other language grant, who needs to get German language skills for reading or for dissertation research, um, cultural studies, political science, those are all very popular fields that we see coming up. Um, we have a language course for faculty as well, um, for the faculty out there that um, think we don't, we don't pro provide enough in terms of research grants, we do have this language study grant. Um, it's just very similar to the intensive language grant for grad students, except that I don't believe that you need to have any prior German a set amount of prior German knowledge. Also, it's not um, available to those who are already lecturing or instructing in German language. Um, let me get you in the hoops. The other grants for faculty that we have are the faculty-led led group study visits. Now, Myung Shin, did you want to talk a little bit about this since you're the program officer for it? Um, Yes. Okay. Um, um, I'm not, well, you know, I'll, I'll I'll tell them about the other ones while we get ready for it. Okay. So similar to the postdoc, um, postdoc short-term grants that we have, and the the PhD short-term grants that we have, we have a faculty research grant. It's for one to three months of research in Germany. And I know the immediate question that comes up with is, what if I've already had a DAD grant before? So the the stipulation on that is that you have to, it has to, three years, three years is the magic number, have to have lapsed since you returned on your previous DAD scholarship. Um, if you received it at another level in your career, say you're a new faculty member um, and you got a DAD during your PhD studies or during your res um, to, to finish writing your dissertation, um, you know, we would consider you at, but three years haven't lapsed yet, we would consider you at a different level now. And so you are again eligible within, in less than three years, if, if that's the case, to apply for the faculty research grant. Um, it's, for all, it's open to all disciplines, so anybody in any field, a lot of German studies people do tend to apply to it, but those who aren't are welcome to apply for it as well. Um, the stipend is approximately 1,800 to 2,200 euros per month, um, up to three months, as I mentioned before, and there are two deadlines every year. This is a program that we have every year, and so, um, you know, if you're not quite thinking about Germany this year or, you know, in the next 18 months or so, this program will be coming up every year. Uh, November and May deadlines are fairly consistent with that as well. Um, specific to those, because we've excluded the German studies people um, thus far in a few of the things, we have conference funding in German studies. This is for you, a faculty member, to host a conference. And it has to be a German studies or European studies related topic. Um, it doesn't have to be specifically exploring the language or specifically exploring the German culture, any aspect of the German culture, but open to any aspect of the German culture that includes um, Germany. Germany on contemporary German political science, contemporary whatever. Um, those, the contemporary topics tend to get a little bit, we, we te tend to lean that way. I think that that's one of our um, core areas of interest at this time right now is, is the contemporary um, Germany in context kind of fields for conference funding. Um, 
there are hard deadlines on this. Sometimes they can take dead, they can take applications a little bit more flexibly, but contact the program officer to make sure of that. Um, there is a shared funding cost, and that's one of the programs where we do require to see uh, a very detailed budget. So take a look at the the guidelines on our website as to what's needed in that application process. Myung Shin, are you ready to talk about the group study visit program? Yep. Okay. Okay, thank you, Jane. Um, so the group study visit, which is also very popular, and I uh, like this program because um, these are the groups who could travel to Germany uh, accompanied by a faculty member. Basically, this program um, is intended to encourage contact with academic institutions or groups or individuals in Germany. Um, we offer um, about, uh, we supported about 13 institutions this year, and um, last year we supported about 15 um, institutions, and um, it, it's, a, it's a short visit um, for 7 to 12 days, and students really um, uh, benefit from this program and also the faculty members uh, get chance to meet uh, the other faculty member to establish an exchange program or uh, already uh, or uh, um, make it uh, the already existing uh, relationship uh, exchange programs to uh, make it stronger S um, and the grant itself is uh, 50 euros per day per uh, participant uh, which is uh, should be subsidized room and board, and all participants, including the faculty member, uh, will receive our private health insurance. Um, uh, the deadlines are November 1st, February 1st, and May 1st, and um, uh, it's not an individual. Uh, we don't need an individual application. It just has uh, it, the visit should be organized, and uh, also the application uh, should be filled by one faculty member. And um, hopefully, uh, we'll uh, see a lot of applications next year again. Um, a few more of the programs that we have for faculty are ones for which I am actually responsible. It's it has two different names, but it's just the same thing, one going one way and the other going the other. Um, Short-term lectureships, it invites American, North American universities to host a German scholar um, to, for a teaching assignment at their university.